In this show, you can join in the action from home. Download the Poker Play Along app from your app provider. The race to redemption is well underway at the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. Just five remain after an early farewell from Miss Finland. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Theo and Grinder have kept the cage spinning. This is so beautiful. I bet you're next. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> While Maria showed the boys who's boss. The last person who didn't fold to me when I bet. I understand. He's right there. Meanwhile, psychic Cindy's struggled to be, well, psychic. I gotta say, I'm, I'm not sure I believe he's really psychic. What am I thinking right now? I'm not sure he can actually see the future. <laughs> Something we can foresee, one of these players is going to the final. Welcome back to the Bahamas, where last season's runners-up are celebrating being given a second chance. That's it. I'm on the Bahama Mama. <laughs> Alcohol is proven to enhance your psychic ability. I think the rule should be that you guys have to finish your drink before you guys are let out of the shark cage. I'll lay two to one I finish before him. <laughs> you want the bet or no? He's drinking right now. Yeah, I'll take the bet. I'll take the bet, Grinder. Is he finished? Is that considered finished? But with the season the final up for grabs and the prospect of a six-figure payday, it's time to sober up. We're halfway through heat two, and so far Maria Ho's game plan has put her in the top spot. I'm with a bunch of aggressive players, and I think there's something to be said for sitting back and kind of letting them go at it a little bit. It's so nice to kind of know that you're in the driver's seat putting everybody else in those tough spots because they're playing for their life and you're not. Poker brainiac Ike Haxton currently sits in second, a position he knows only too well. Second place in various tournaments has been a bit of a boogeyman for me. All of my biggest scores, they're all second place. I'd really rather avoid getting second place in this one if I possibly can. Sorry, Ike, but our online qualifier, Cindy Zanspox, foresees victory for a Latvian psychic. If you do not take command at this table, you never win. At the very beginning, I was uh, nervous, but actually I'm um, quite focused now at the moment. Cindy's has taken the slow and steady approach. The same can't be said for Theo Jorgensen, whose aggro style has left him short. I've been playing loose, and considering the fact that I get cold, I really have to start laying my hands down. We'll believe it when we see it. And talking of players who need to slow down, the grinder is the table short stack. I would never change the way I play it. Sometimes the only way you can win in poker is you have to bluff. We're gonna need a bigger cage. Time to send someone through to the final. So we started with six, and we're down to five after Sarah Shafak was knocked out by psychic Cindy's. Cindy's, how'd you get started playing poker? Tarot cards. Um, when I came to university in Riga, living from small town. Uh, you started guys, playing poker there? Yeah. Mm. But you don't tell people that you're a psychic or else they wouldn't let you in their home game. They usually do not no. invite me to home. Yeah, <laughs> why would they? Why would they? That's your occupation too? Not, not, you're, you're a full-time professional psychic? Good. <laughs> you, are you getting paid? <laughs> this is my job, to know things. Are you seriously, this is for a living? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who are your clients? What, who do you work for? Relationships, business, uh, searching missing people. <laughs> How long does it take you to like um, come up with About that 10 answer? minutes. Okay. What am I thinking right now? Right now, right now, you have 30 seconds, hurry up. <laughs> time bank, hey, time, time, time bank. Use your time bank, what am I thinking? <laughs> He's thinking you're a jerk. Well, it's almost time to put your psychic abilities to the test. Play along at home using the Poker Play Along app. Blinds are 10k, 20k. It's been folded to grinder. 9-7 off. 
Last time around, every single hand was Grinder and Theo. Well, that's a raise. Theo's got a six of clubs. And story checks out. Come on, Theo. Mm. What do you got there? How much Why? are you playing? What I need... 500. I need one of those. Five. five. How much? Five, five, five. Theo's played a time bank chip. For sure he's raising me now. God, man, I knew it. Unbelievable. When are they going to let the other kids play? You use your time bank to call me? Yeah. Weird. The blinds fold. A grinder. Grinder. I'm coming for you, Jorgensen. That's what she said. Theo flops the nut flush draw, and he's still ahead right now with ace high. It's crazy. Yep. Oh, that's disgusting. Grinder with just nine high bets. Theo's gonna be loving this spot. That's a call. Eight, please. That's a ten. Does give Grinder some outs. Yeah, he's picked up a gut shot straight draw. Now he needs the eight. Action goes check, check. The cage is in play as we go to the river. Which is a three. The board is bricked out for Grinder. If Grinder bets, he'll be bluffing, and if Theo folds, Theo's going in the cage. Again. Could you have six, seven in? Ten seconds. Grinder's turn to play a time bank chip. Conversely, if Grinder bluffs and Theo calls him, Grinder's going to the cage. Again. Here comes a bluff! Will Theo call this with just ace high? I think there's a good shot he does. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, this bet is for a decent percentage of Theo's stack. But it's Grinder. What I got left here? One, two, three, four. He's requested more time. Decisions, decisions. Going to the cage is just so embarrassing. But I don't want to go over there again. Ten seconds, Theo. Another time bank chip. So if I'm bluff, I go in the shark cage. If he calls me. God, man. That's a call. We're locking up Grinder again. Oh no. Oh yes. Grinder's gonna spend more time behind bars than Uncle Joey from Back to the Future. This is turning into a great day. <laughs> I would stand up and do that dance, please. No, please don't. Don't, don't. Oh, God, he's doing it. That is a good dance. That is actually the exact dance after you have two Bahama Mamas. And the Grinder is going through the cage. Yes, he is. Good call, good call. <laughs> that was, that, that was honest. My guess is Mike's had a detention or two in his day. And Theo's gonna get a bluff bonus worth two thousand dollars. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Two thousand dollars more. Beautiful. I love it. Thanks, Grinda. Grinda. Thank you. Grinder. Shuck. I like those teeth that came down. <laughs> God, that was good. Is he allowed to be on the phone? No. How did he smuggle that in? Don't want to know. How does it feel to be there for a second time? I told you I bluff all the time. So the grinder's been caught with his hands in the cookie jar and is back behind bars for the second time this heat. I'm just happy I keep my image as being a big time bluffer. 
Oh no. It's the bluff card. And the Grinder is going through the cage. Grinda, thank you. I thought I still made a good bluff and I would always do it again. Hopefully I get in there 10 times. As long as I win one of them, I'd be happy. Will he ever learn his lesson? Tag your tweets, Shark Cage. Don't forget you can join in the action from home. Make sure you download the Poker Play Along app. Here on the PokerStars.com Shark Cage, it's no surprise the grinder is back in the cage. And yet again, it's Theo who put him there. Theo, I don't know what he was thinking. It's a pretty tough call. Probably said to himself, I don't give a crap. I'm going to get buffed in this situation. But I don't want to go over there again. I used some time banks because it did really look like he wanted value out of me. So, on the other hand, I got this guy telling me that you don't want to call, you don't want to call. And then I have the devil on the other side saying the same thing as he always does with the grinder. He's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. When he turns over the buff cards, I'm almost getting a tiny heart on. This is turning into a great day. It was good. Good call. <laughs> when you're in the cage, you see everybody making fun of you. I like those teeth that came down. <laughs> oh my god. I love the fact that he's over there. Looking at him in agony, just suddenly everything is great. Life is good. Grinder is behind her. Bars, that is. This is the tightest Grinder has ever played. Ha! I, mean, I play fairly tight. I like the new style, Grinder. <laughs> That's what separates good players from great players, <laughs> the ability to shift gears like this. Paxton, burn. It's your big blind. Hey, Mikey, wanna take your big blind? Well, Grinder is the shortest stat right now, while Maria Ho still leads the pack. Blind still 10,000, 20,000 with a 5,000 ante. Action on Theo. Fold. Now Maria. Round to Cindy's. Psychic Cindy's, psychic Cindy's. The only thing this guy's channeling is bootleg cable in his hotel room. Six deuce off suit. And it's a raise. Hey, maybe he knows something we don't. King Queen suited for Ike in the small blind. I was like, call or three bet? A fist full of yellow. 175. It's a re-raise. Oh my god, three bet and re-raise are the same thing. I just realized that. A little bit of posturing from our qualifier. Well, it takes him 10 minutes to find an entire missing person. So of course he needs another 30 seconds here. He has requested additional time. Got a full three minutes here. If he uses all of them, it might be enough to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he using a time bank chip to fold? Maybe he's thinking about re-raising as a mega bluff. And that would be a four bet? Well done, Joey. That's a fold. Hmm? I'm always thinking like that. Yep. So you can cannot get freed from that. All right. I don't understand what Cindy's is saying, and I don't think Ike did either. So what about this competition? You won. Where was that held? Um, this is a Baltic Psychic Battle, uh, including Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. Um, in the finals, there were 28 Psychics, but uh, uh, these three countries in total have more than 5 million in population. There was a photo in an envelope, yes. yeah. and I had to describe what, what is the man uh, what did he do or he does in his life? I, I can't even imagine it. For me to believe that anybody can look through an envelope and see what's in there is just too, too insane. When the online qualifier told everyone he was a psychic. My name is Cindy and I'm psychic. I don't think you'll be surprised to hear that I was pretty skeptical. Wow, that's like a powerful introduction. I don't personally believe in psychics, but obviously once someone says that, you kind of at least are on the lookout for any psychic behavior and abilities. What am I thinking right now? At one point I asked him what I was thinking. He gave no response. 
Seven, please. Wow. Are you gonna let him show you up like this? You'd think somebody who could read minds and see the future would have a pretty big edge at the poker table. How long does it take you? It took like... Um, about 10 minutes. I wasn't really concerned about whether he could look through me, even if he got 10 minutes. It's a little unfair. If there was a doctor at the table, you wouldn't ask him to check your prostate. That's an interesting point. How you doing over there, buddy? Not as good as you. Obviously, you're drinking. Well, Grinder won't be able to play this next hand, but guess what? You can, provided you've downloaded the Play Along a Poker app. Jack six of diamonds. And that's a raise for Maria. Sevens for Cindy's. Looks like psychic abilities make you sleepy. Just a call. Round to Theo. King Queen. It's not really you never a big disappoint. Surprise. No, 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 I know. I was counting on that at least. Mm. At least. At least. This time he's got a legit hand, at least. So three way to the flop. And Maria takes the lead with a pair of jacks. Still manages to outflop both players with better hands. Typical Maria. Just kidding, she does this no more or less than anyone else to my knowledge. Now she raised pre-flop and she will continue here. Actions on Cindy's. His shot clock is running. Those are big chips. Yeah, that's a race. Maybe he senses Maria's got a bad kicker and he can get her to lay it down. Theo's folded. Or maybe he's just shaking up the magic eight ball and clicking buttons. Do you just have some blue behind the yellow? You see that? It's almost as if he knew what she was asking. Maria calls. And these two will go to the turn. Which is a six. Two pair for Maria. Magic 8 Ball says outlook not so good. Maria's checked it to Cindy's. He has now got a straight draw. And if he was about to keep turning his sevens into a bluff, then this psychic is about to meet his Houdini. Houdini used to travel around debunking psychic. You know what? If I have to explain it. He's requested more time by playing a time bank chip. You can't rush these abilities. Kreskin often had to use a time bank chip. Here comes the psychic abilities. They're basically just using time to, to annoy you over there. Yeah, that's what it is. Hey, remember the movie where Matt Damon played the psychic? I just watched that movie and the time is taking Cindy's to make this decision. Ten seconds. And another time bank chip. Quickly followed by a check. <laughs> Ike. So we're going to the river. The cage is in play. Cindy's does not improve. Maria has the best hand. That river is not a seven and it's a pretty terrible card for Cindy's all around. Looks like Maria's gonna bet. Flush came in, bottom pair, and the flop is beating him now. If he wasn't beaten before, he probably is now. So this will be a bet for value. There's nearly 500,000 in the pot. 300. Chunky bet. There go. And Cindy's pays it off. Oi. Silver lining is that he's not going to have a silver lining in the cage. I'm talking about the bars of the cage. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. A qualifier lost half his chips there. And how much psychic credibility does he have left? Maria has extended her chip lead. You get to come back and join the rest of us. I mean, at least in time for the blinds to go up, though. Oh, is it? What's yeah. the blinds now? You're under the gun for your life. The My body. The Grinda. Release the Mikan again. All right. Tio's so happy to see you back because he wants to hit his maximum. I know, he's got two buttons. <laughs> I need one more. You can't win more than three bluff bonuses. Well, Grinders come back to not many chips. He is very much in the danger zone. Danger zone? Ah, oh, Miss Finland. 
And blinds are now 12,000, 24,000 with an 8,000 ante. Maria's folded. Cindy's is out. Oh, God, that's bad. And grinders all in. I'm calling. And I feel convinced I'm ahead. You are ahead. Cindy's felt it too. Are you really ahead? God. Grinder dominated. I'm basically just eight. <laughs> wouldn't, eight one time. Wouldn't mind an ace. Nine. Whose prayers will be answered? Ooh. There's a nine. I'll take that. Seven, eight, queen, we'll take it. You know what's coming. I ain't even worried. There's no sweat. Which one of them? I, me, I obviously prefer if the If it's seven. not the one you call, it doesn't count. <laughs> the queen, you're alive. If you could beat any me. any of the other outlets, but... Yeah, but you know which one is coming. Seven though. hearts. I'll take the seven hearts. Good. Eight's not bad either. Grinder has 11 outs. Well, that's not one of them. God. That's Three a good card for you. Doesn't give me any extra outs. All right. Seven, eight. Queen. Grinder's usually pretty good at this. Not this time. He's out in fifth. You hit it. And the needle from Ike. The good luck, guys. Come in As always, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Goodbye, Grinder. Never give up. Never surrender. Take care, bud. All right. To your left, to your left. All right. Everything you own in a box, to the left. I want to change the way I played. I thought I played good today. I'm coming for you, Jorgensen. <laughs> I like to grind it, and it was fun, and I had a blast playing with him. I had fun, I had a great time. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. With my $2,000 in Bahamas, there's a club called Aura, so it's a Friday night. You do the math. What math? What is he talking about? Whatever the equation, I'm pretty sure the answer will be minus $2,000. <laughs> I take the over, by the way. Action on Ike here. He folds. Round to Maria. A7 in the small blind. All in. And she yes. shoves on Cindy's. I call. He calls with Queen Jack. And he's at risk here and behind. Come on, Cindy's. These guys don't need the money. Does he feel it? Ooh, that is a very bad flop for Cindy's. Ooh, <laughs> not really. That's a horrible flop for you. <laughs> I think it's like 93%. Cindy's only has four outs now. Ike probably knows. Yep. The turn card is no help to our qualifier. Uh. Even though Cindy's got it in bad, he had to do it. Even if he knew exactly what Maria's hand was, which he did. He needs a queen or a jack, but it can't be a diamond. It's a diamond. We lose Cindy's and Spock's. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure playing with you. Good playing with you. Cindy's, you crazy son of a gun. What are you doing wasting your talents here in the first place? Well, now he can drink at least. Now, I'm no psychic, but I got a pretty good feeling as Cindy's VT is about to start. You're amazing. I can honestly tell you that today was uh, very funny and chatty. Well, we gotta ask him who's winning the shark cage. Yeah, he's psychic, of course he won. He won already before it started. It was great. There were a couple uh, better players, so they deserve to win. I don't feel that they are very far away, so I can catch them and I will win major tournaments, I promise you. You could join your favorite pros in the Bahamas. Qualify for the next PCA at PokerStars.com. Just three remain on the road to redemption at the PokerStars.com shark cage. With the finish line in sight, Maria Ho is running away with it. 
the thought of being runner up, once again, I don't think any player wants to be always the bridesmaid and never the bride, literally or figuratively. But when you have most of the chips in play, you definitely are putting the gas pedal to the max. I'm good at coming in second. We all are good at coming in second. Yes. <laughs> this is why we're here, right? <laughs> That is the beauty of this redemption heat concept. Four biggest caches of my poker career are all second place finishes. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's pretty good. This is the kind of race where there's no special prize for coming in second. Well, this heat is all Maria. She's big chip leader right now. Theo and Ike with around a million apiece. As the blinds go up to 1530. And with three players, the cage is no longer in play. Theo with ace jack on the button. Tis a raise. Maria with aces. This is bad news for Theo. 165. Unsurprisingly, she re-raises. Gets a fold from Ike. It's back on Theo. Much like the ending to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, there is no way he gets away from this. Spoiler alert. 15 seconds. Time bank. And that is a re-race. Theo's just put in more than a third of his stack. You think Maria's thinking about a re-raise amount, but she's really thinking about Monaco and the bleeping shark cage final. Clock's ticking down. All in. She shoves on Theo, and he calls all in. That's bad news. Like Ray Yane on your wedding day. That's going to be tough to get out of. Drink up while you can. Go broke, and your bar tab is closed, buddy. Just a 7% chance Theo survives here. We have outs. Yep. A king gets him out of jail. 10,000 spoons, but all he needs is a knife. I like that time. If it couldn't be a king, that was a... We have more outs! Theo doubles up and survives if there's a king or an eight on the river. It's a five. It was a pleasure. Nice to play with you. Ike, you game, Theo. In third Good place. Luck. We lose Theo. Do you want these? I'm bringing these, right? He still gets monies. And at least he didn't finish second this time. Thanks for playing, man. I got it. Great. I had a blast. Taxi! It was just a blast. I love the whole concept. I love putting the grinder in the cage. This is so beautiful. If you give me even money, I'm betting whatever I can find on Maria. Ike is definitely the better player, heads up, but the blinds are really big and she is playing well. Here I am again, heads up play in the shark cage and I have a five to one chip lead. That's the good news. The bad news is, is I'm heads up against Isaac Haxton. He is by far one of the best heads up players in the world and I just know that Isaac is going to make it tough no matter what I do. She's still the overwhelming favorite with the chip lead that she has, but I had an even bigger chip lead against Bill Perkins last season than Maria has against me here, and I ended up losing that one. So yeah, absolutely, anything can happen. The Karate Kid versus the Cobra Kai. Sweep the leg. Let the heads up battle begin. Well, the good news is, is we've both been in this exact position before. We can't <laughs> both <laughs> lose again, yeah. <laughs> And then a chill filled the room because neither one of them actually wanted to lose again. King 10 for Ike. Raising from the small blind from the button. It's business time. Queen Jack for Maria. Monday's the night they visit Ike's mother. Tuesday is Maria's night to cook. But Wednesday, Wednesday's the night they make sweet Maria calls. Let's have a flop. Top pair for Ike and a gut shot straight draw for Maria. Ike's almost always betting this. A 
A little tickle. Maria should not and will not fold. She calls. The turn card is an ace. Ike now a 93% favorite. Still not the best card for either player. Maria's checked for a second time. And it looks like Ike will bet again. Ike's guessing Maria would have re-raised him pre-flop with an ace. Is she gonna call with queen high and a gut shot? Time is ticking away. Ten seconds. 290. Ooh, and a check raise semi bluff from Maria. Not a call at all. But again, there aren't a lot of good hands Maria could be raising here that she wouldn't have re raised before the flop, right? Right now, Ike's thinking, do not lie to me, Paul Blart. Do not lie to me. Call. He calls. Ike is a huge Paul Blart mall cop fan. And we're going to the river. It's a jack. Too little, too late for Maria. But will it stop her from bluffing? All in. Nope. She shoves on Ike. Ike's got a really tough decision. This is for everything he's got. Maybe Maria was slow playing a monster. Maybe she got there with Queen-10. Remember, there is a seat in the final in Monaco on the line here. Ike's running out of time. He's playing a time bank chip. A cheeky smirk. Maybe he'll realize something's rotten in the state of Denmark, and I'm not just talking about Theo. Fifteen seconds. Ten. I call. Great call, Ike. Had a jack. Nice call. I haven't seen a call that good since Bart Simpson to Mo Sislak. Maria, it's okay if you want to kill him. He's impossible. He's the worst. And by the worst, I mean the best. It's ridiculous. Ike gets a full double up through Maria. As the blinds go up. To 20,000, 40,000 with a 15,000 ante. 100. A raise from Maria with King Six of Clubs. Ace Queen for Ike. Ike's pretty much always re raising here, like doubling down on 11. Sure enough. Also because he's money, baby. And Maria had better look down because I think she's about to step in it. Ten second warning. Time bank chip deployed. I don't think she's going to think this long and fold. 630. A big re-raise from Maria. All in. Ike shoves. Maria, you've got to see her go insane and out of her mind to call. She certainly doesn't want to double Ike up again. Is he ever really doing this with a hand worse than King Six? Ten seconds left to make a decision. Five seconds. Maria lets it go. Good fold. Must have been tempting to try to put it away right there, but sometimes they have it. And that's even the score. They're pretty much neck and neck. With the blinds at 30-60 with a 20,000 ante. Ike limps the button with eight deuce. 
Maria checks her option with Ace-8. Oh, playing the Ace a little slow. Maria's Ace-high still the best hand. Which means she's going to be calling if Ike bets. Action goes check-check. We are now a 93% favorite. She's still got to be pretty happy with Ace-8 here. Here comes a bluff from Ike. She's got to wonder what kind of hands Ike would just limp with pre-flop. And she thinks she's ahead of enough of them. Good call. Go into the river. And Maria now has a lock on this. Can she call another barrel? Ah, she's gonna bluff it herself. Interesting. So Maria bets out. She's taking a pretty passive line until the river. Now she's trying to rep a jack. Fairly believable. 830,000. Just kidding. Wow. Awesome bluff from Ike. Too bad the cage isn't in play. Can Maria find a call here with just ace high? Ike is really working her. An eight is the best card she's beating. Ten seconds left. She folds the best hand. And Ike takes the chip lead. That's gotta hurt. Her empire is crumbling. So... I doubled Ike up the first hand, and then he wins a bunch of hands in a row, and the wind went from out of my sails to there being a hole in my boat, and I feel like I'm sinking right now. I definitely don't feel great, but at the same time, you, you don't ever play thinking that you can't take on your opponent. Can Maria compose herself and retake control? Tweet using the hashtag SharkCage. At the PokerStars.com Shark Cage, Maria Ho has finally been knocked off her throne. Ike Haxton has put on a heads-up masterclass. I feel like I have pretty good control of the match. Things are moving along smoothly for me, and I think I have a pretty good shot to win it. So Ike has the momentum, and right now he has the slight chip advantage over Maria. Lines are currently 30,000, 60,000. Maria's first to act here. 4-3 offsuit. She limps. Check. And Ike checks with 6-3. I'd say domination nation, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Maria flops best. A pair of fours. Ike has an up and down straight draw. All up and down Ike. It's college nickname. Check, check. Board pairs on the turn. Maria now better than a 2-1 to one favorite. Ike's got almost no showdown value, so he is betting. Plus, he can always make his straight. Maria calls Ike semi-bluff. Hard to make a pair of heads up. The river card is a 10, so the board has bricked out for Ike. Does he bet again? Does he think Maria has something she can fold? Here comes a bet. And this is a pure bluff. Roughly two thirds of the pot. Ike has bluffed Maria left and right in this heads up. Does she let him get away with it again? Answer is no, she calls. Not this time, Haxton. And Maria regains the chip lead. Here you go. Yeah. Should have raised pre while I was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just you were only slightly ahead pre though. That's why I gotta protect the hand. <laughs> Serve the public trust. Protect the hand. Uphold the chip lead. Well, he's failed to comply with that one. And directive four is classified. 
You're fired! Lines are up to 40,000, 80,000 with a 25,000 ante. I liked it better when we could send people to the cage. No. <laughs> uh, maybe, but one of you two is seven players away from winning nearly a million dollars. King nine of diamonds for Maria. Call. She limps. Six five off for Ike. He's not going to check his option. He raises. Call. Maria calls in position. Ike was preying on what was perceived weakness from Maria limping. Oh, hello. Trip nines for Maria, while Ike pairs his six. Ike hit, but unfortunately it's way less hard than Maria did. Having raised pre-flop, he continues on the flop. King High would be the best hand here a fair amount, but luckily she's got a nine to go with it. Maria calls. Turn card is a king. That's a full house for Maria. Ike's going to know that aces and kings are some of the best cards she could have had in her range when she called the flop. Ike now officially drawing dead. He checks. Ridiculous instincts. Maria set to take over the betting. And maybe he was trying to induce this bet. Or at the very least, he wants to try to catch a bluff. Ike calls. Go into the river. Oh, which is a six. That's a full house for Ike, but obviously it's a lower full house than Maria's. That is the apple dropping on Isaac's head. I really hope he's not trying to induce a bluff this time. He's checked to Maria. Her clock's running. All in. And she shoves on Ike! He's in a ridiculous spot. He does have a full house. But it's not the first, second, or even third nuts. Any nine beats him. It's like the 11th nuts. All right, all right, nine bank. With less than 10 seconds left on his clock, Ike plays a time bank chip. Great move from Maria. I want to make a really big fold here. I think you have it. She has it. She does, but I don't know how you fold this heads up. Five seconds. Yeah, okay. Time to look either real smart or real dumb. Great fold, Isaac. Real smart. Wicked smart. Have it smart. Sorry, I know Ike went to Brown. Ugh, that was gross. And Maria extends her chip lead. I do not feel good about folding that hand. Well, you should. I'm feeling better the more we talk about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how big was that laydown? Bo Derek? Relative to the board? Relative pretty much a board. ten. Wow. <laughs> Agreed. I just got a really bad feeling about it. Everything she was doing physically in terms of her posture and her motions. I just felt like Isaac actually had a big hand, but I also know that he saw me try to bluff him earlier, which I felt like maybe this will be to my advantage. I just tried to make sure I was doing all of the same things that I did the first time I bluffed him. All in. All in. I want to make a really big fold here. I think you have it. Yeah, I just decided to go with my gut and lay it down. Yeah, okay, time to look either real smart or real dumb. I'm probably not known as somebody who plays by gut, but when I do, it works out often enough for me to keep trusting my gut. Ugh, that was gross. Ike folded a bigger hand than Robert Wadlow. You know the guy to get... You know what? No more references for the rest of the heat. Ah, oh, Daniel, hanging out on the rail with Miss Finland. Hashtag creeping. Mr. Negreanu has already booked his seat in the final. Will it be Maria or Ike joining him? 
Little known fact, that's also Maria's favorite time of day. Raising here with King Queen suited. Ace Jack suited for Ike. A pre flop monster heads up. All in. He's going for it. Call. And he's been called. Ike at risk, but ahead. Good luck. Which one? Who? Both Everybody. of you. Everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just you team up and make a royal flush. <laughs> When the blinds get this high, does it? <laughs> Catches a king or a queen and you win? Yeah. That's it? That seems pretty easy. Number one all-time money winner, everyone. <laughs> red cards. Keep them red. If you keep them red, that's probably good for me. Here comes the flop. There's a jack for Ike and a queen for Maria. So the, you got the queen. That's good. That's, that's the highest pair. You nailed it, Daniel. I'm so good at this commentary <laughs> thing. He's all right. <laughs> Maria now a four to one favorite to win this heat. Bigger favorite now. Well, that didn't help him. <laughs> Ike has five outs. He needs an ace or a jack. The river card it is an ace. No, it's a deuce. Maria is going to Monaco. Good, Good game, Maria. Good game. You were crushing me. <laughs> You, you made it a great lay down. Now I feel like you're just going to look like a genius. But everybody already knew you were a genius, so what does it matter? Yay! You sweated me a winner! Yeah, I know! I knew you were going to win. You couldn't lose that hand. Well, cause that's because we're going to play together. A lot of vodka waters. Lots of vodka waters. So redemption for Maria <laughs> and a second second for Ike. I'm going to Monte Carlo. It feels so good. I was really, really excited. I never celebrate, but inside I was like doing cartwheels. I'm glad that I took it wire to wire. There was obviously some dicey moments between Isaac and I heads up, but the way I was playing and how I was running, I was thinking that I was gonna take it all the way. I seem to have a bit of a knack for finishing second in things. The four biggest scores of my tournament career are all second place finishes. I guess I am rather used to it. I am so excited for the final because I get to go to Monte Carlo again, and obviously this is a great free roll. There's going to be so much money that we're playing for. You get one in six chance to win, you know, six figures, so you don't get that many opportunities. I'm really, really excited. So Maria Ho will take the second seat in the final, joining her good friend, Daniel Negreanu. Next time, elite sports stars take on poker's finest. Ronaldo, just owning people. <laughs> Absolutely punishing us. Yeah, let's get some revenge. Good luck, boys. He's wearing a cap that says punishment. I'm trying to get him. Let's do this. We're getting pushed around. I hate that. <laughs> Massive gauge potential. $2,000. When I was about 13 years old, I stood up and punched him in his face. He never bullied me again. If he comes, I'm hiding behind you. Yeah. <laughs>